just to sort of stay a start up and then taking it down. But as you now start on your back body, straightening the legs out unless it is wickedly uncomfortable. And notice, notice the sensations that are present in your body. Sensations and thoughts are not the same thing. The thoughts may be the story behind the sensation. Sensations are maybe we feel pressure. Maybe there's a sharpness. Maybe there's numbness. Maybe there's heat. Maybe there's cold. It's just whatever you observe. Do you feel the right side and the left side touching evenly? Last week, we talked a little bit about how the center of the sacrum and the back of the skull, these two parts of our body, very thick bony parts of our body, ideally travel on the same plane. But if you find that your chin is pulling away from the chest, again, that's due to a shortening of the back of the neck and also maybe some rounding of the upper back kyphosis, which will also tend to in this class, then just support your head with a pillow so that you are resting centered on the back of the head. And now let's bend up the knees. And we'll place the hands on the lower abdomen. Observe the breath as you breathe in and out. Does the belly expand with ease? Does the breath flow in smoothly or does it feel a little choppy or restrictive? What about the out breath? I invite you to, first, if you're wearing glasses, I invite you to take them off so that you can close your eyes with comfort as we practice. There is nothing to see. This way we keep the awareness within our bodies and pay close attention to the sensations. So as you breathe in and out, notice the duration of the in-breath and the out breath. To invite the out breath to elongate compared to the in breath. Maybe just one or two counts. And then let's begin to add the arch and flatten. As you inhale, contract the low back. Let the belly balloon. And exhale, floating back to neutral. Take a breath in for nothing. And exhale, and we move right into the flattening. Hollow out the belly and your hands are still on your abdomen. So you can actually feel that the belly pulls away from the hands, not pressing up into the fingers. And then we slowly return to neutral. Take a full breath in and out, to pausing in between. And then on the next in breath, we arch again. And floating back to neutral on the out breath. 
Breath in for nothing. And exhale, flattening, hollowing out the belly. And slowly to neutral. Full breath in and out. Now let's bring the arms out to cactus arms. And we repeat. Arch on the next in-breath. Feel, sense the muscles on the back contracting. And then equally important, notice them releasing back to neutral. Breath in for nothing and exhale. Feel the contraction on the front. Belly draws in and up. And releasing back to neutral. Buffer breath. We'll do it one more time. Inhale and arch. That's the contraction. Now the somatic work, the slow and controlled release. Don't dump the contraction. Follow it all the way home like a good date. Breath in for nothing. And exhale, flattening, hollowing out. Feel that. And slowly and controlled, letting these muscles release. Buffer breath. Let's take the hands behind the head for the arch and curl. That helps elongate the front body. And if you know that you have more of a forward head posture due to a rounding of the upper back, this can be a good place to take a blanket and fold it just over once or twice. So you create a little bit of an opportunity for more back bend in this pose uh, as you practice. And that will help facilitate elongating a bit more on the front, the seam that has shortened. So we follow very much the same protocol as we did with the arch and flatten. But now we allow not only the long seam on the front of the torso, but the pet majors also the muscles that connect the sternum to the arm bones on the front. Now inhale, arch. Chin will draw towards the chest. And exhale, we will right into the flattening. Now pull the elbows up and curling up. Just the top of the shoulders come up. Slowly releasing the head down. Slowly releasing the head down. Once the head is down, Inhale and re-lift the top of the shoulders, not curling up. You just drive the elbows a little closer to the sky. And now slowly release the elbows out to the sides as slowly as you can. Notice if there's more ease on one side than the other. I will count on the next one. So let's take a full buffer breath in and out. And then on the next inhalation, arch again. And then exhale, flattening, elbows draws up and we are curling up. Belly is pressing down, I'm counting down on eight here. Two, three, four, five, six. Seven and eight. Then relift the elbow. So the tops of the shoulders again lifts, but you're not lifting the head. And I'm going to count the elbows out. One. We're going to count to eight again. Two, three, four, five, six. Seven, 
and eight. Let everything pull. Let everything pull. We'll do that one more time. Inhale, arch. And exhale, flatten. Draw the elbows up, curling up. And now lengthening out that front seam that pulls the sternum down towards the pubic bone. So keep the low back pressing down. As you lower the head, relift the elbows. And again, let me count you down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. All the way down. Let everything pull. Let's take the left knee in, hugging it into the chest. So yes, if you were on a blanket, removing it now may feel better. So we're working more on rotation. And we'll start with the baby ones. Let's inhale and arch. Your left knee will pull away. Your left elbow will straighten. Exhale, flatten the back and then Curl up that diagonally. Let your nose and sternum travel together. And slowly releasing back down on the in-breath. Once down, let's take a full breath in and out. So I'm not going to count you down on this one because the next thingies, I want you to be able to travel at a comfortable speed. Inhale again, arch. Left knee pulls away and exhale, flattening. Draw the right knee towards the left elbow, left knee, right elbow, left knee. It's coming and releasing all the way down. Let's take a full breath in and out. And then one more time. Arch and flatten and curling up diagonally. We want the rotation and releasing down. Release the left leg down and just take your right arm out from under the head. I want you just to pause and feel the breath in your torso and your trunk. If you feel the upper quadrants and the lower quadrants. When we twist like this, we are doing engage both the upper and lower obliques. The left oblique, the left lower oblique pulled you into the twist, the right upper pushed you into the twist. So you may feel there's a little bit more space in the right upper chest and the left lower abdomen. Or you may feel nothing different at all. That is not wrong. It just is. Let's take the left, the right knee in, sorry. Right knee goes in. So hold it with your right hand. Hold the right knee with the right hand. And again, we'll arch, pull the knee away. And exhale, flattening, curling up diagonal. Left elbow, right knee. And slowly untwist, back to neutral. Everything releases down. We'll take a buffer breath. And then we'll arch again. Arching on the in breath. And exhale. Pull the knee in, flatten the back, curling up, rotating, and derotating back home as slowly as is comfortable for you. The slower you move, the more retraining takes place. 
Let's do it one more time. Arch. And flatten. Curling up. And easing your way back down. And release, right leg, left arm. Pause. And then let's roll over onto the right side. Support your head with a blanket or your arm. It can be straight, it can be bent. So for the side curl, we wanna sit in that very straight back chair. We're gonna start just with the legs. So we'll separate it out tonight. Take your, low, take your left hand to your left waist. Take a breath in for nothing and exhale, lift the left foot straight up and you'll feel the muscles under your hand. So if the knees stay together, keep the knees together. And then slowly release the foot down. So your left hip is moving up towards the left ribs. Let's take a buffer breath. Breath in for nothing. And exhale, contract, draw the left hip up towards the ribs and then slowly let them drift back down. One more breath. One more time, buffer breath. Breath in for nothing. And exhale. Foot lifts, it goes straight up. Notice if you're pulling the heel towards the hamstring or the tush, you're using the hamstring rather than your inner obliques to facilitate this movement. Let's slowly, slowly lower down. Now the arm, we're gonna do the arm a little bit different today. Often we put on the bonnet, we put on the headband, but today have your arm up straight-ish elbow so that your palm is out from your face. You can see straight at your hand, my hand is off the mat. And then take a breath in for nothing. And as you exhale, Pull your right, your, sorry, your left ribs together. Pull them together. And this helps the arm lift. The head will lift. Arm and head lift. And then slowly inhaling back down. So in this variation, we don't have the head support, the neck support. And if you like that better with the headband on, I have no problem with you using that. In this one here, just put your left hand right on your side chest, on the side chest. So we'll do it once without the arm. Um, lift it up, not the waist, but your ribs. So right below the armpit, just below the armpit. And take a breath in for nothing. And as you exhale, these are the muscles that we're contracting. So again, just below the armpit. But we make the movement a little bit bigger when we have the arm out straight, now slowly come down. So lateral flexion is the anatomical term, or just call it side bending. So taking the arm up again where we had it before so we can make the movement a little bit bigger. Again, take a breath in for nothing. And then exhale, contract, pull the ribs together and let the arm and the head drop. And slowly releasing down. Now let's take the hand behind the head, right arm out in front, and then rolling onto the 
back, roll your left shoulder towards the floor, but keep your legs where they are. Keep the legs in the position for the side twist. So now we'll add the other movement of the obliques. Take a breath in for nothing. And then exhale, we're gonna de-rotate and come back up, lifting the head. So contract the ribs again, contract the side ribs to do the side lift. And then slowly, D, sorry, you're twisting open as you release. So you're twisting, you're releasing into the twist. And like I said before, your obliques work diagonally. So now your left oblique and upper oblique and your right lower is a team. Let's take a breath in for nothing. And exhale, derotate. And side bend, and side bend as you come up. And then slowly, releasing back out, slowly, slowly, slowly. Everything pulls. Buffer breath. In breath for nothing. And exhale, derotate. And side curl, upper body side curls. Last one here. And slowly releasing back out. Take a full breath in and out. Now, without a lot of to do, just slide the legs up long so you can come onto your back body. Pausing on your back, straight or bent knees, whatever is most comfortable for you. And just pause and feel. Do you feel a little catawonky? Let's roll on to the other side. Again, supporting the head. Take the hand to the waist. So again, my knees are bent up at 90 degrees and I'm at 90 in the hips. We'll take a breath in for nothing. And as you exhale, lift your right foot straight up and you feel the waist contracting, so your right pelvis is pulling up towards the ribs. And then we're gonna slowly, slowly lengthen the waist back out again. But for breath. Breath in for nothing. And exhale, lift the leg. Is something happening under your palm? And slowly releasing back down all the way down. Notice those jumps and jitters where there is some motor amnesia. One more time, we'll take a breath in for nothing. And then lift the foot. Straight up. Again, you can check visually. Do you still have the 90 degree angle behind the knee? Not pulling the heel towards the chest, trying to solicit the hamstring to help out. Slowly, slowly, slowly. As slowly as you can, releasing down. Now let's move the hand just right up to the ribs. So from the waist to the side ribs. 
for the external obliques. And as you take a breath in, and then exhale, contract as if you are squeezing the ribs together. And this action lifts the head as you are side bending. You just gave yourself a little scoliosis in the thoracic spine, slowly releasing out. And that's the reason if you do have scoliosis, that these movements are actually really good to help release that side that is collapsed, that is super tight and bring tone to the side that's convex. The open side, if you will. Let's do it one more time. Breath in for nothing. And we lift again. So feel these muscles contract. Feel that your ribs closing up, closing up. But it's not a big lift of the head. And if you have a shoulder thingy, this is a little gentler. Now let's take the arms out to the straight and that just makes the movement a little bit bigger. Have it up slightly so the hand is in front of the face. Palm on the floor. Breath in for nothing. And then exhale, contracting the ribs and let the arms just float up like a little sun rising. Celebrating winter solstice this coming weekend. Sacred day in Nordic mythology. Slowly let the hand come back down again. Let's take a breath in for nothing. We'll do this one more time. On the out breath, contract the ribs. Let that be the initiator. And then draw the arm up. And slowly let the spine lengthen back out. And we'll take the hand behind the head now. Behind the head. Slowly release your right shoulder towards the floor. Slide the left arm out in front. So your gaze is straight up ish. Again, breath in for nothing. And exhale, derotate. Support the weight of your head in the palm of your hand. Once you derotate it, we're going to do our little side, side curl again. And slowly releasing down. Back out into the open twist. Breath in and out. Breath in for nothing. And exhale. Derotate. Contract, 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 and then side bend. And slowly releasing out. Belly breath. One more time. Derotate. And slowly coming down. All the way. Pause here. And then without a lot of fuss, find your way onto your belly, onto your belly. Take your right arm out to the side, left arm down alongside your body. So right arm out to the side, elbows bend up at 90 degrees. Elbow is straight out from the shoulder joint. And turn your head to the right. And if this is uncomfortable, place your head in any way that's comfortable for you. So don't force your neck into a position that is uncomfortable. 
Now, as you inhale, you're going to lift your right elbow up and just slowly lift it up as high as you can. And then I invite you to count yourself down, maybe a 10 count or 12 count. Moving down super slowly. Once the elbow is down, let's everything pull. We're going to repeat this one. You're going to inhale again, contract it all the way up. Now, as you count to eight ish, lower your elbow down a third of the way. And I invite you to close your eyes as you go to a third of the way down. Once you've counted to eight and you are third down, just open your eyes. Was this a third? We're going to recontract, lift up about an inch. And we're going to lower down another third. And again, closing your eyes, feel your way a third down. Open your eyes to check that that was a third. We're going to relift one more time, about an inch. Now closing your eyes and you're going to lower on a count of eight or 10, your count, you're gonna lower the arm all the way down on your count. Again, don't dump your arm, follow it all the way down and then let everything pull once down. And then slide your right hand under your left cheek or temple. And as you inhale, I'm gonna lift your head, look over your right shoulder, let your hips lift up a little bit. This gets the whole back seam. And slowly lower down. Slowly lower down. A rule of thumb, let the release be at least twice the length of the activation. We'll take a buff of breath here. And then we'll repeat on your next in breath, lifting the head and again, let your hips be a little buoyant. Don't press your hips down as you lift the head. And then slowly, slowly, smooth and easy. Down, down, down we come. Now we're going to take the arm up with the head. On your next in breath, press the hips down and then lift the arm and the head. And then slowly, 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 smooth and easy, releasing down. Buffer breath. And then we're repeating as you inhale, press the hips down, lifting up. This time I asked if you can get a little rotation. Lift the right elbow towards the sky. And slowly, slowly releasing down. And as always, if any of this is painful, uncomfortable, back off, back off, back off even to the point of imagining the movement. One more time, on the in-breath, press the hips down, lift the arm, lift the head, rotate, lift the right elbow a little bit higher, and releasing down. Now take your left hand up 
And just plant the hand on the mat. Help yourself lift the head a little bit. Turn the head to the left, slide the right arm down, and then position your left arm so that the elbow again, I'm gonna flip about, elbow is out from the shoulder and the elbow is bent at 90 degrees. So first we are working on the anterior deltoid, the back of the deltoid. So on the left arm now, we turn the head, I'm looking at my left arm. And if this is uncomfortable for your neck, then create the support that you need. Maybe turn the head back to neutral, let the forehead rest on the blanket. Perfectly fine. All right, let's inhale and lift the left arm, the left elbow, just the elbow as high as you can. Send some muscles. And then slowly release. So we just the first one we took on the full ride, no stops. It was the, not the fast train, we call it the slow fast train or the fast slow train. And then we added stops. Inhaling, lifting the elbow up. And then we did a third. Lowering a third. Relifting. About an inch, not much. Just to recontract. Lowering back down another third. Relifting. And then the last third, all the way down. Everything pulls. Sliding the hand under the cheek. And then we did just the head. Press the hips. Not, don't press the hips down. Let the hips lift. So there's a teeny little back bend facilitating the lift of the head as you look over your left shoulder. And slowly releasing down. Everything pulls. And lifting again, looking over the shoulder. Lowering down. Everything pulls. And we took the arm with us, pressing the hips down and then lift the whole arm. First, we just went straight up. And then slowly releasing the rector spine nay. This is your six pack on your back body. Buffer breath. And then we start to get a little rotation. Inhaling, lifting straight up. So the hips are pressing down. You're lifting up and then lift the left elbow up higher. And slowly derotate all the way down. Buffer breath. And last time. Inhale, press the hips down, lifting up, lift the elbow high like a peekaboo under the arm. And slowly, slowly, slowly down you come. And then let's take the right arm up. Place one hand on top of the other. Tuck the toes under, tuck the toes under. 
press the heels back. So forehead is just resting on the back of your hands. And press the heels back, lift the knees. And then inhale, press the forearms down. Pull the belly button up towards the heart. Legs are long and strong. Slowly releasing down. Slide your upper body to the right. Tuck your left foot, left toes under. And then inhale, press the heel back and then lift the head and the heart again. And slowly lower down. We are opening the fan on one side and slide to the other. Slide the shoulders to the left. Tuck the toes of the right foot under. Tuck the toes of the right foot under. Inhale, press the heel back. And then lift the torso, lift the heart. Lift the heart. So now I'm opening up the whole right side. And releasing down. We're going to slide back to center. We're going to bookend it by tucking the toes under, again, both feet, tuck the toes under, creep into the nose, press the heels back, and press the forearms down to lift the head and the heart, and again, pull the belly button up as you press the heels back. Lengthen the front, and release down. Pause, pause. And slowly find your way over onto your back again. Stretch the legs out and just pause. Let's bend the knees up. So there are so many movements and I was really torn about which ones to choose, but I do like this one here a lot. So that took the winner. You'll take the elbows out to the side with the forearms pointing straight up. So hands, palms facing towards your feet. Now, as you exhale, Begin to soften the hands down to the floor and then the forearms to the floor. We move into the flattening as the hands comes to the floor. And then inhale, lift the forearms back up. We're just going to neutral. And last comes the palms straight up. Let's do that again. Exhale, relax the wrists. Forearms relax us down towards the floor. We're flattening the back. The chin pulls away from the chest as the shoulders lift. And then slowly inhale back to neutral, lifting the wrists. So it's been a long time since we did this one here. So we're back up at the starting position. Let's do it one more time. Exhaling, relax the wrist, then the forearms as we move into the flattening. Chin draws back, shoulders pulls up. And slowly releasing back to where we started. It's going in the opposite direction. So this helps us getting our shoulder blades mobilized and that neck and shoulder integration. So here, as you inhale, the palms relaxes or the wrist relaxes back. We draw the forearms down towards the floor. Now we're moving into the arch. 
And then exhale, returning back to neutral. Again, exhale, sorry, inhale. Arms, forearms goes towards the floor. Chin pulls towards the chest. And exhale, forearms lifts up. And then the wrists. One more time. Inhaling, wrists, forearms. As you arch, chin to chest, and slowly back to neutral. Now let's combine these two. As you exhale, drop the wrists, forearms to the floor, flatten the back, shoulders up, chin away from the chest, and inhaling, we back up at neutral. Breath out for nothing. And then inhale now, let's move in the opposite direction, dropping the back of the hands and the wrists into the arch. And releasing back to neutral. From neutral, drop the hands forward. Exhaling, flattening forearms towards the floor. Do the forearms come all the way to the floor in each either orientation? So just full mobilization, spine, shoulder girdle, and neck. Next time you come up to center, slowly relax the arms alongside your body. The washcloth, we can't do a rotation session without washcloth. I think that would be wrong on so many levels. Let's take the arms out to the sides. The legs we know, but let's just start with that and we'll add them again later. Simple, as you inhale, the knees will go to the right, nose to the left. And exhale, back up to center. Inhale to the other side. As you inhale and go down, there's an arch. So let the low back contract. And as you exhale back up to center, you're flattening through center. As you move to into the twist, let the arm that you are looking at extending out stretch and open the palm. And then let the palm and hand relax as you come up to the middle. Open, extend the palm and we're back. Inhale, you go down, palm opens, exhaling. Center and relax this one more time. So as you come up to center, pause it. Draw the shoulder blades together. Squeeze the shoulder blades together on your back. And then slowly release this action. Do it again. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. And then relax. These muscles get so petite. Now rolling the arms 
up like great big rolling pins, rolling the arms up. And then let them just roll back. So my arms are straight out from my shoulders. And I'm just rolling them up. Do that one more time. So they're staying pretty much straight out from the shoulders. I'm rolling from the shoulder and that rolls the arm around, not from the hand. We're gonna roll in the opposite direction. Rolling the arms down towards the feet and then we let go. So similar but different to what we just did with the bent elbows. Let's do that again, rolling the arms down. So I come onto the thumb side of the wrist and then I'm just rolling back. One more time, rolling the arms down. Shoulders, the top of the shoulders are lifting up. And now let's do the opposite. The right arm is gonna roll up left is gonna roll down, hence the name, the wasp cloth. You're gonna turn the head and look towards your right arm. And then releasing, and then go in the opposite direction with the arms. Left arm rolls up, right rolls down. Going back and forth. The arm that rolls up is the one you're looking at. And let's add the knees. So as you now are looking to the right side, right arm rolls up, knees goes down to the left side. And exhale, we come up through the middle, everything is neutral. We go to the other side. You're still having the nose opposite of the knees. Back and forth. Side to side. Nose opposite of knees. Still arching the back as you go down. And move just at the right speed and intensity for your body. The next time you come up to center, Slowly slide the legs out. Draw the legs together. Bring the arms up, interlace the palms, or the fingers, sorry, and press the palms to the sky. So let's consolidate. Inhale, take the arms overhead as you draw the tailbone and heels in the opposite direction. And inhaling back up. Switch the interlace of your fingers, press the palms up. Heels and tailbone goes opposite direction. Draw the legs together. Press out through heels and palms. Inhaling up, relax the arms down, let the legs separate and roll up. And breathing in and out. Feel, sense your body. The sensations of your body resting on the floor, your outer layer of being. Hot, cold, pressure, pain. 
numbness. And the second layer in. There's something else too, right? You feel there's some pulsation, a sense of aliveness. You may feel your heart beating in your chest. Allow yourself just for the next minute to rest into this since the sensation of aliveness, of pulsation, tingling, and ease. The mind wanders off, it does. Just bring your awareness back on your body. And then gently begin to deepen your breath. Bending up the knees, maybe wiggling your fingers. Rock the knees from side to side. Rolling all the way over onto one side. Pause, pause for a moment. And then push up into a comfortable seated posture. You go ahead and unmute. 